Ever wondered how your phone knows when you tilt it? Meet the ADXL335, a tiny accelerometer that detects movement in 3D space. Let's dive in and see how it works. And we will also see how it works with Arduino Uno. So let's get started. The ADXL335 is a small, low-power, 3-axis accelerometer. It can measure acceleration in three directions, X, Y, and Z, with a range of plus or minus 3G. That means it can detect both static forces like gravity, and dynamic forces like motion or vibration. At the core of the module is a small, low-power, low-noise triple-axis MEMS accelerometer from analog devices, ADXL335. It can measure not only static acceleration caused by gravity, but also dynamic acceleration caused by motion, shock, or vibration. This is a 3.3 volts regulator makes it ideal for interfacing with 5 volts microcontrollers like the Arduino. The sensor consumes only 350 microampers of current during normal operation. Let's see the pinout of ADXL335 accelerometer. VCC supplies power to the module. Connect it to the 5 volts output of your Arduino. X out. Outputs an analog voltage proportional to acceleration along the X axis. Y out. Outputs an analog voltage proportional to acceleration along the Y axis. Z out. Outputs analog voltage proportional to acceleration along the Z axis. GND is the ground pin. How does an ADXL335 accelerometer work? To understand how accelerometers work, imagine a ball inside a 3D cube. Assuming that the cube is in outer space, where everything is weightless, the ball will simply float in the center of the cube. Now assume that each wall represents a specific axis. If we suddenly move the box to the left with acceleration 1G, the ball will undoubtedly hit the wall X. If we measure the force the ball exerts on wall X, we can obtain an output value of 1G along the X axis. Let's see what happens when we place the cube on Earth. The ball will simply fall on the wall Z, exerting a force of 1G as shown. In this case, the box isn't moving, but we still get a 1G reading on the Z axis. This is because gravity is pulling the ball downward with a force of 1G. While this model does not exactly represent how a real-world accelerometer sensor is built, it is often useful in understanding why an accelerometer's output signal is typically specified in plus or minus G. In the real world, accelerometers are based on microelectromechanical systems. So, let's find out how a MEMS accelerometer works. A MAMS microelectromechanical system accelerometer is a micro machine structure built on top of a silicon wafer this structure is suspended by polysilicon springs it allows the structure to deflect when accelerated along the x y and z axes as a result of deflection the capacitance between fixed plates and plates attached to the suspended structure changes this change in capacitance is proportional to the acceleration along that axis. The sensor processes this change in capacitance and converts it into an analog output voltage. Wiring an ADXL335 accelerometer to an Arduino. The following image shows the wiring. The images below show the accelerometer readings at various orientations. So I hope you have learned something new today make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.